the next thing we want to take off we need to take off the thing the radiator cap goes to and back here is your um, ah, crap your uh, thermostat we'll pull that out uh, the kit came with another seal even though I just put this on not even 200 miles ago uh, but the the gasket kit we got comes with a new one so 10 millimeter bolts on that also two of them one on top 180 degrees out on the bottom <clears throat> okay I'm getting ready to take the intake manifold off uh, as I'm reading the book it wants me to take off the air intake it wants me to take off the fuel rail and disconnect all these sensors but as I'm looking at how this thing is mounted you have one two three four five bolts and they go down up down up down like that now on each side down here there's a bracket and there's a bolt that screws in and attaches to this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break those two free because there's nothing under there. I'm going to break those free. Then when I take these out, it should tilt back. I should be able to pull this whole thing backwards and it just be out of the way. I don't, I don't need to make it more complicated for myself. If I was going to take the intake manifold off and need to be fixed or something like that, yes, I would take all this stuff off. But for what I'm doing... I just need it out of the way so I can pull the head out. So that's what we're going to do. This is an 8 millimeter bolt, the ones that hold the manifold to the head. This one down here looks like it's going to be the same. Now. That's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt down here for the pivot point so uh, unless something goes wrong and I have to do it you'll see once I've pulled it out of the way I'm going to go ahead and loose, loosen the pivot bolts I'm sure that's not what they're called and uh, then I'm going to take out the manifold bolts and hopefully I can swing back I got enough room here with the fuel line and other stuff so uh, let's see how this goes And thank you, babe, for bringing me a beer. I appreciate it. Okay, it's going to work out like I thought. This just backs away. The one thing I am going to do is I'm going to disconnect the fuel injector uh, connections here. Let's see. You lift. So you can see this from this way. second one it's hard to tell this is red oh son of a bitch all right we'll repair that one all right it slides up then you press this and it comes off okay slides up where are we at here? Slide the red piece up. Oh, wait a yeah. Push the tab down. <clears throat> it comes right off. Just be careful. You don't want to bend or break anything. That, that first one, I pulled the tab up, it went flying. I got to find it so I can fix it. Usually they pop right back in. Alright, next thing I'm going to do. Oh, uh, I tied the exhaust manifold back. I uh, just looped it over the face plate there. Tied it off. Uh, later, the book said to check the face of it along here with a straight edge. And um, make sure you know that it's level. I did have some overheating issues. I don't want it to be warped or anything like that. Um, once I get the head off, 
I'll probably clean that out some. It's got some gunk in there. Right now, we're removing the heat shield from the exhaust manifold. There's a bolt here. One there. I think. Let me feel. One here. Okay. And then one along the back over there. And that's all I feel. There's three. So, one over here one right there and then one along this back corner right there they are eight millimeter all right the heat shield has one more bolt it's on the back side it's right here it's the best i can do so it's a uh, what is this 13 millimeter right there so i'm going to take that off and the heat shield will come out 